Now, if you've been following my recent work as of right now, I've gone down the uh, path of talking about the UK and mainly why you should be leaving the UK. When I say leaving, make sure you've got a plan of action depending on how old you are. If you're under 30, pack your bags right now, dump your bird, get the hell out there. You don't own anything. You don't own no sofas, a couch or a TV or an Xbox or PS5. Get rid of everything. Don't even put it in big yellow storage because believe me when I say this, if you get out the UK, if you exit and you see the rest of the world, you are not coming back. Now, spoke about that a few times, but the reason why I wanted to make this video is because in the other video, I touched up on about why I believe that the schooling system is flawed. And this is kind of the schooling system for across the world in a sense, but mainly for the UK and the US is because there's certain things in the UK and US which you can't get in other parts of the world. For example, car finance, not available in most countries. A mortgage, it's not available in most countries. Credit card, not available in most countries. So there's loads of things like this. Student loan, not available in most countries. So there's loads of things like this which is predominantly US, UK, Western based, which is absolutely garbage and it ties you into a system that they've created, an ecosystem that they want you to be a part of so it benefits them, it suits their agenda. I'm not here to talk conspiracy theories or anything like that, whether you believe it or not, whether you th if you think the education system is designed for you to be smart and for you to be educated, well then, turn this video off, because I really don't care. Because if you measure life by success, um, it's not about finance, it's not about job, it's not about where you are or what you're doing. It's about who you are. That's how you should be measuring. And I don't mean who you are as in terms of like, I'm a doctor, or I'm a barrister, or I'm a lawyer, or I'm this, or I'm that. It's nothing to do with that. It's who you are as a person, where you are in life, what you're capable of doing, and what your ability is. And have you reached maximum potential in life for you? For who you are, have you reached that maximum potential? Now, that maximum potential maybe could have been reached very easily if you wasn't burdened and all these hurdles in the way, like a mortgage, like the credit system, like finance, like student debt, like all this stuff. If you was told at a young age, let's figure out what you're good at doing and let's double down on that, you'd be a hell of a lot better off than what you are or where you are today. I know that and I speak about that firsthand, personally, first-hand experience. If somebody looked at me and said, Fadi, hang on a minute, let's look at what you are and who you are as a person. Where are your skills? Where are your flaws? What can you better? What are you good at doing? What are you not good at doing? Let's kind of break this thing down. Let's not put you in a box and say, okay, Fadi, are you good at maths? Are you good at science? Are you good at English? Are you good at history and all this sort of, well, history is a very sore subject with me because the history that they teach let's just say isn't proper history, or not the correct history. Well, let's leave it at that. Let's just leave it at that. I don't wanna, I don't wanna elaborate on it any more than that because that is another video. That's a whole other video. So, the point about this video is how the education system is flawed so much. A couple of things that I would like to change in the education system, I'm sure I'm not alone on this. Number one, there should be a lesson a life skill lesson on banking. What your money is, how much money is worth per hour. Time is money. The lesson should be called time is money. It should explain to you how you exchange your time for money. And then once you get that money, you buy things with that money. I had a great example recently. I'll tell you very briefly. Someone buys a Rolex watch for 10,000 pound. The value of that watch is £10,000 to both people. But to one person, it could be 10,000 hours of work because he's working for £1 an hour after he pays tax or whatever. Let's just hypothetically put the situation. I know that's not true, but let's just say that. That's how much it works. The other guy 
is making a thousand pound, sorry, ten thousand pound an hour. So the value to that guy, the time frame it took that guy to buy that Rolex watch was one hour. The time frame it took the other guy to buy the Rolex watch was ten thousand hours. So the guy has valued, even though the value, the currency of the watch is exactly the same. The guy who's bought it for 10,000 hours of work has valued it more than the guy who only worked for one hour. That's a big concept which took me a very long time to get my head around. That's the first thing that we should learn in school. The time is money. When you are offering your time or your services for somebody for a set amount of, like, you know, three hour shift, four hour shift, five hour shift, I know you guys are gonna think there's no such thing as that, but I don't live in the matrix, bro, so I don't know. I know it's eight hours or 10 hours, whatever it is. Never had a job, I don't care. Look at that and think about it. Can I become financially free, financially independent and secure off that time that I'm giving this company? Or shall I go out, learn new skills that are gonna pay me more for my time? Therefore, I work less or I work more time easier on life. But that's, again, a whole other topic. That's just one aspect of it. Number two, mortgages. I don't know how many of you out there bought a mortgage for the, got, got a mortgage for the first time or went to buy a house and didn't have a clue where to begin. How much deposit you needed, how much they were gonna lend you, how much banks, how, how many bank statements you had to show them, three months, six months, could the money have come from a family? Did you have to say it was borrowed? Did you have to say it was gifted? Did you have to say I earned it? Did you pay tax on this money? Did you not pay tax on that money? All these things, there's so much that goes into it. Now, I know this is a little bit of data thing because right now, if anybody asks me right now, should you purchase a house in the UK? My advice would be no, do not do that rent for the rest of your life. I might sound like a bit of a hypocrite. I bought a house, I bought many houses. I've sold a lot of my property. I only actually own one house in the UK now. And that's a personal reason why I have that, but that's just, I'm not gonna give you advice on to get one, but if I, would, if I was to just give you a blanket statement, I would say don't buy or don't get a mortgage in the UK. And trust me, my thought process on that, if you asked me five years ago, was completely different. I would be like, the first thing you wanna do is not get 10K cash in your account, is buy a house, get a deposit. But now I'm wiser, I'm older, I've learned, I've been burnt, I've been through the system long enough. I've bought and sold 10 properties. I know exactly how the system works against you. I know how the system can work for you. And trust me when I say this, there's plenty of millionaire property investors out there that will say property is the way to go. Right now in this day and age, I can almost guarantee you there is at least, that I know of personally, 20 methods that are better than buying and selling or flipping a property to make that same amount of money, to make the same amount of money with less effort. If you're one of those guys, I'm not a less effort kind of guy, I'm a more effort kind of guy. I'm a kind of guy, if someone says to me, look bro, this is how much you can earn in a year, and this is how much you can earn in a year if you put less effort, I'm like, no bro. I wanna earn more but put more effort in. I'm always that kind of guy, okay? I'm not stupid, but you get what I'm trying to say. I'm, I am not shy of a graft. That's the main point I'm trying to say. So I'm not a less effort type of guy. But believe me when I say this, just again, look, who am I? Who am I to give my advice out? If you listen to me, that's on you. If you agree with me, comment down below. If you don't, that's fine. I'm not here to you know, secure your finances. I'm here to secure my own. That is it. And in the process, if I can help people out, give you some advice which helped me progress further in my life, then by all means, I feel it's valuable to share. I'm going to share it. Another one, tax. We are not shown about tax in the schooling system. We, they do not tell us. They do not tell us where our tax money goes. Who's taking our tax money? How they work the tax money out on? Where does VAT come from? What is VAT? Who takes VAT? What is it used for? How much do they take off us? When I was younger, I used to think, doctor, yo, this guy's on 100K. 100K, now you get taxed. Then what? What are you left with then? then where do you spend that money? How much can you save? How much can you not save? How much should you show? How much should you spend and say, oh, this is expenses. If you own your own business, how would you set up a limited company? That's another thing. How do you set up a limited company? How do you have an account in another country? Of course, they're not gonna teach you these things. You know why they're not gonna teach you these things? Because it doesn't benefit them. What benefits them is, 
you finish school, you get a loan off them to buy their product, to pay them back. Do you understand how rigged this system is for them to give you a degree which they give to every single person who's doing exactly the same thing you're doing? And what do you gain from the end of it? Status? Not anymore, bro. The world has changed, the game has changed. You know what status nowadays? I know this sounds so weird saying it because I'm talking on, say, talking about this on YouTube. They asked, uh, I, I, again, I, I don't know the percentage on this, but they asked high school, school kids? High school kids, I don't know. It's just kids, they ask kids, what would be the best job right now? What's the most, the number one thing you want to do when you're growing up? And when I was at school, I know everyone wanted to be a sports star or a movie actor or a film or this, whatever. Today, you know what it is, number one thing? TikTok, YouTube, that's what it is. It's what the kids want to do nowadays. So no one even wants to be a fireman. Nobody wants to be a mechanic. Nobody wants to be a plumber. But those are the jobs you should be going for, real life skills. So the schooling system is flawed in so many ways. Not gonna get into it too much, but I still feel if there was to change this little bit, this tiny little bit, a couple of lessons, tax, finance, car finance, car finance is another thing. They should explain car finance, how car finance works. Who's that money going to? Do you need that car? Can you get A to B on that car? Why get that car? What purpose is it for you to have that car? Is there benefit in you to buy that particular car? Just because you like it, are they gonna help you buy it? Where is your money actually going? Where is this currency going to? And do you know another thing? And this is a big one for me. This is a big, a massive eye opener for me. Travel. They never tell you to travel. They never say, go here, visit this, do this, live in this country, go in that country, do nothing. You know, we went to travel up the road into some farm and fed some pigs. That's what we did. That's it. Where did we go with school? Nowhere. Where did they take you? Nowhere. They never say to you, you should go and travel. I know there's things and schemes and whatever on, on take a year out and go live abroad and do this. And I know what's that thing where you swap families or whatever. I don't know what it's called. I look like I'm not an educated guy, whatever it is. But it's not to the point where they say to you, look, this is how it works in this country. This is how the economy is over here. This is how many people are thriving over here. This is how this country does this and maybe we should do this better. Another big one, they're just coming to me. They're just coming to me. You know, I don't write stuff down. They're just coming to me. Credit score. What is a credit score? Why is there even a credit score? Who does it benefit? How to improve your credit score? Why do you need a credit score? The credit scoring system is so flawed, probably more than the education system, that one of the first times when I tried to get a mortgage, they refused me based on the fact that I had a parking ticket that I never paid. What the hell has a parking ticket Got to, and that was a disputed parking ticket. A parking ticket got to do with me affording a house. This is how crazy it is. I can prove to the bank, I have five times the mortgage, sorry, the down payment for the mortgage. Five times the down payment for the mortgage. So you can clearly see for the next 10 years, I ain't even got to worry about a mortgage payment. I ain't missing no mortgage payments because the cash is right there in my account. And they will be like, no, because you parked your car wrong three years ago, sir. Three years ago, you parked your car wrong. I didn't even know about it. You parked your car wrong. We can't give you the mortgage. Obviously, I had to figure out other ways. We eventually got there. But I had to pay more is what it is. But that's how stupid it is. Whereas someone else will scrimp and save little pennies, go into the bank with the piggy bank and say, look, sir, I am earning this per month barely making ends meet. I've barely got this deposit together and you can clearly see that once you take this deposit out of my account, I'm gonna to struggle to pay the solicitor fees for this mortgage. But the bank will be like, do you know what though? Your credit rating is good, sir. So therefore, we're taking you on board to rinse you for the rest of your life. Because they know that's the guy they want. They don't want the guy who doesn't know how to park properly. Well, actually, I was parked on a curb at a cinema. That's what it was, that's how I parked. Anyway, point is, I was getting late, I just parked up, went inside, got a parking ticket, and it, it cost me, bro. It cost me way more. I wish I just paid the ticket, but you know what, who cares? These things happen, lesson learned. Nothing, didn't affect you. 
affected me. But that's how flawed the system is. So I know this isn't, a, this isn't <laughs> nothing to do with fitness again. Sometimes I like to go left on a bit of a rant. Sometimes I like to go right on a little bit of a rant. But this one is why, how the schooling system did not work for me. And on, I know Gary V has this very famous line. He says, I didn't fail school, school failed me. And if I'd never heard that, I'd have probably gone through my life thinking, you know what guys, I failed school, but no, I'm gonna say this as well. School failed me, I didn't fail school. Hopefully this video gave you some value. Please comment down below if you guys are in the same boat as me. Like, comment, and please subscribe.